you're looking at live video of the U.S. Census Bureau in Suitland, Maryland, just outside Washington, you can see a heavy police presence there. There apparently has been a shooting. A security guard was wounded and has been taken to the hospital. And we should warn you, information is very sketchy at this point. And as you know, the earliest reports in these kind of active shooting situations are often uh, incorrect. According to our local affiliate, WJLA, a gunman is still barricaded inside the census uh, facility is considered, according to a WJLA, an active shooter situation. People on the scene have been reported hearing large bangs. The district police saying this may have started as some kind of armed kidnapping. Those are all the details we have. We're back with uh, former NYPD detective Harry Houck. Um, Harry, you trained folks in, in active uh, shooting situations. I, I've been reading a lot of FBI studies of active shooter situations, which have been increasing over the last five right. or six years. <clears throat> Much of the killing in active shooter situations takes place within the first several minutes. Right, so within the first two minutes, uh, right. usually. And usually when most active shooters hear, hear the police coming, they don't want to really confront them. All right, and they either shoot themselves or uh, basically shoot themselves or, it, or, or surrender. But if it's a terrorist situation, that's not going to occur. Right. They're gonna, if it's a terrorist situation and there's an active shooter in there, say in a mall or something, they're going to wait till the police take them out. The majority so far, I mean, again, from just from the FBI study I was actually just reading, because um, I've been working on this subject a lot, uh, it's usually people who have some sort of mental health right. issue. Exactly. Again, we don't know the details uh, involved of who this gunman is. If it is just a single gunman, I can tell you it is a very chaotic situation because right. there are reports uh, of... Uh, of another incident nearby this facility. And again, these are very early reports, so it's not clear if it's just a coincidence, if, if that's an erroneous report. 